Alex is an attractive and successful creative director of an advertising company. He fell in love with Alina, also a 37-year-old. They were both 33 when they clicked and decided to live in an apartment. Their relationship was perfect, and Alex could already see himself building a family with her. He proposed during a dinner, which the lady accepted. The next day, he discovers that Alina is nowhere to be found. She brought all her things away and left a letter on the dining table. She's not ready to commit yet. But Alex felt that she fell in love with someone else. Alex was in pain for two months. It was so traumatizing that his work was affected. He blankly stares at his table, having difficulties formulating ideas for advertising. There, he decides to go on a vacation to unwind. He stayed on a beach and enjoyed the company of nature. His friends told him it would be impossible to fall in love again in his 40s. Indeed at 37 years old, he's afraid to open his heart again. He became tired of his daily routine, not until he bumped a 19-year-old lady in the street. He was so busy picking up a call that he didn't notice her scooter in an intersection. The lady's vehicle couldn't function anymore. She demanded to drive her to school. Alex agreed after being threatened to be reported to the police. The teenager is Nikki, a bubbly, outgoing young lady who is in the stage of going out with friends and enjoying life to the fullest. In the car, she interviewed Alex with her feet placed on the dashboard. Before dropping her off, the man gave her his business card and left. At the office, he meets a new face, Marcelo. He is a young and successful creative director. Leonardo, Alex's boss, revealed that they are signing up a two-year advertising contract for a Japanese perfume brand, La Luna. In the middle of the meeting, an unknown number called Alex. It was Nikki. The teenager searched his name online and was amused that Alex was successful. The naughty girl ended the call by telling the busy man to pick her up at 1 p.m. Alex went back and was told by Leonardo that the company only needed one creative director. He had a hard time processing what he heard. He hates to assume that one of them will be fired. Well, he was right. Leonardo was upset with Alex for not giving his best on his job. He was just observing him, seated in his office, losing his creative mind. Despite that, he was willing to give him a final chance by letting him think of a fresh idea to advertise the perfume. Alex immediately went to his team and told his subordinates to research the previous campaigns of La Luna. As he was staring at the perfume bottle, he realized it was almost 1 p.m. He has to pick up Nikki as agreed. Nikki jumped with gladness as she saw the man in the parking. She hopped in the car and placed her feet on the dashboard, as usual. She wants him to invite her at lunch since the mechanic is not available at noon. Alex was about to refuse, but she reminded him how he had damaged her scooter. They parked in a forbidden area to get pizza. It would just be quick, so Nikki insisted that it was okay to leave the car there. She told him that the one late to arrive there would be paying. The 37-year-old man who hates running was forced to do so. He enjoyed it. While they were eating, Nikki jokingly said that they could make a great couple because of their age. Alex laughed, amazed at how the lady directly spoke her thoughts. Despite their age, they get along well. And for the first time, he was able to share with someone about his breakup with his fiancé. He hardly talks about it to his friends. Suddenly, Nikki's strict parents called her. She lied about who she was with, so they suspected she had a new boyfriend. As they went back, they saw the car towed by the authorities. Alex went mad at her, but the lady blamed him back that he was not a responsible adult. They were able to retrieve the car, and Alex drove her home. There, they were almost caught by Nikki's parents. Good thing that she was alert and hid on his lap. Later that day, Alex was invited for dinner with friends. All of them have partners except him. When he arrived, they told him that they only ordered for themselves because they were not sure if Alina was coming. His face went serious, and he announced that Alina had left him. For more than two months, he has been keeping that pain. Everyone at the table was shocked and felt sorry for him. Alex felt relieved after that. He was finally able to express himself directly, as how Nikki taught him. From then on, he never felt awkward with his friends talking about it. Life was slowly going back on track for Alex. He focuses back on work, especially with the perfume contract. Across his office is Marcelo, who also works hard on the project. Seeing that, he could not waste time thinking of fresh ideas to promote the perfume. While he was trying to work hard, the annoying lady wanted to be picked up again. He refused but later agreed after she sent him a cute photo. He smiled, holding his phone, and excused himself to his subordinates. At school, Nikki went inside the car and told him the mechanic would be a little late. Alex was pissed off, but the lady teased him for being short-tempered. He then tried to smile and asked where they would be going. The two headed to the beach. On their way, Nikki could not stop smiling as she stared at the majestic view. She thanked him as they arrived on the shore and kissed him. The lady went surfing while the older man sat on the sand. He enjoyed watching her falling from the surfing board. He laughs as the huge waves splash in her direction. They had a meal, after which Alex could not stop thinking about what ads to make for the perfume. Nikki tried to help him, but her suggestions were boring. Shortly after, he receives a text message that Marcelo's team is already done with their proposal. He felt nervous because he heard that it was brilliant. Seeing that the man was panicking, the teenager insisted on helping. It was late at night, so instead of working in the office, the two went to Alex's apartment. Nikki was amused by the different successful products displayed around. All of them have ads that Alex himself formulated. 
One of them was a lingerie brand that she was wearing. The man interrupted and told her that it is how advertising works, to create branding and make it popular with the people. Nikki complained about not giving her a drink, so the man asked her what liquor she wanted. She laughed and told him that they would be working and liquor won't be a help. She asked for cola and ice instead. While Alex was preparing it, someone rang the doorbell. He opened it and was shocked to see his silly friend Pedro. He insisted on getting in. Alex felt nervous that he would see Nikki. He blocked his friend from entering and told him he was not alone inside. Pedro thought that Alina was back, but not until Nikki showed up and greeted him. His eyes went big. He was shocked that Alex brought home a hot teenager. He asked him how old the lady was. Alex, on the other hand, couldn't find a way how to make him believe that they were not dating. He decides to close the door to make the man leave. Nikki went to the balcony, and Alex followed her. The city lights looked beautiful and made the atmosphere romantic. The lady asked him to kiss her, but the mature man declined. He believes that it would be impossible for them to fall in love. She insisted and told him that between him and her was not complicated. She placed her hands on his neck and flirted him to kiss her. Alex could not resist her and kissed her back. The two made love. They had a wonderful night together. Nikki went home late and greeted her parents before heading upstairs. Her eyes were shining that her overthinking parents thought she was dating another guy. Meanwhile, at the apartment, Alex was staring at the perfume. And he finally formulated an idea after spending time with Nikki. He called her on the phone. He couldn't stop smiling while talking to her. They greeted each other goodnight before sleeping. The following day, Alex relayed to his team his idea for La Luna. He thought of an advertising line, do not ask the moon. Pick it up. The subordinates loved the idea and started looking for an image to represent their concept. They only have three hours left to do that. At school, Nikki requested her friends to help her illustrate for an advertising campaign. Instead of listening to the lady, they asked something else. They had noticed that she is blooming for the past few days. They were curious about who the man was. Nikki blushed and went inside the library to confess to them. There she told them that she was dating an older guy. The girls were intrigued and asked her about their age gap. The lady was hesitant but told everyone that he was 37 years old. All of them were surprised and thought that Nikki was crazy. Three hours passed, and it was time to present the advertising proposal. Alex's team was not confident with their illustration. But time was up, and they had to pick one. The creative directors, Marcelo and Alex, brought their papers and proceeded to the meeting. Alex was about to enter the elevator when he heard a commotion. Nikki was there. She insisted Olga let her enter Alex's office. He went downstairs and told Olga that he knew her. Nikki showed some drafts of the advertisement proposal. The man looked at it and found it interesting. He thanked her and asked permission to leave. Nikki disagreed and requested a kiss. Alex laughed and kissed her. Leonardo found Marcelo's illustration outdated. There, Alex had a chance to show his ideas. The superior went silent and looked serious. Alex felt nervous and told him that it was still a draft and that he could still improve the drawings. Leonardo finally reacted, and he loved it. He thought that it was perfect for the brand. He congratulated him and said the company could rely on his creative mind. Alex feels flattered hearing the kind words. The next day, Alex went out to play basketball with friends. There, Pedro confronted him and asked how old the lady was. He confessed and told everyone that she was 19. The three men were surprised. They teased him that he could go to jail for dating a girl 18 years younger. Regardless, they still supported Alex and thought it was a good start to move on from Alina. One night at the apartment, Nikki told Alex that the first time she saw him, she immediately knew he was the one. Alex laughed and thought that the lady was joking. He admits he doubts that they may not work because of their age. Apart from that, they barely knew each other. Nikki replied and told him they should spend more time and let her help with his job. After that, they can separate and test if they miss each other. The following day, the two bonded like it was no end. They went to the beach and visited different places. Alex also taught Nikki how to drive. He laughed as the lady put too much pressure on the brakes. Alex wants his friends to get to know Nikki more. They were all in a suit as they waited near the beach to meet the ladies. Nikki arrived and brought her friends. Their low expectation was changed. The ladies find the gents attractive. They went to the amusement park and had a great time. Nikki scrolled on the internet and looked for a lighthouse. It was the similar lighthouse in the painting that Alex bought. The man was amazed and couldn't figure out how she did that. He found her irresistible and kissed her. He also told the lady a corny line that she's like a lighthouse that illuminated his dark life. Nikki burst in laughing. She prepares to leave, and for the first time, she calls him love. Alex was surprised and fell in love with her even more. He wants to hear it again. The lady smiled and said, sorry for calling him love. At the library, one of Nikki's friends told her that she found Pedro attractive. But she was surprised when his wife appeared at the amusement park. She advised her that a mature man can't be trusted. They tend to play with young ladies' emotions. Nikki disagreed and told them that Alex was different. Later that afternoon, Nikki called Alex to ask if he could pick her up at school. However, he told her that he had an important meeting to attend. 
the lady requested to cancel it for her. She was hurt that Alex hung up, leaving a message to see her later at the apartment. Nikki was dismayed. It was the first time that he had declined her invitation. He used to cancel everything just to be with her. Her friend consoled her and advised the lady to slowly unattach herself from him. Regardless, Nikki remained hopeful and went to his office. There, Olga did not give her any information on where Alex would be. She was just told that he is in a very important appointment. Nikki was upset and drove to the city to unwind. While looking around at a restaurant, she saw Alex. He was with a pregnant lady. Worst as he was kissing her hand and looked happy to be with her. She immediately recalled her friend's advice and thought they were right about mature men. She went hysterical and hit Alex's window shield with her helmet. It was so strong that the woman with Alex noticed it. Alex went outside to explain to Nikki. She was wild and didn't stop hitting his car until the glass broke. The lady confronted him and thought that the woman was his wife. Alex laughed and introduced his sister. Nikki was embarrassed and asked permission to leave. The pregnant woman giggled because Alex had just mentioned earlier that he had finally met a mature girl. Alex grabbed Nikki's arms to talk to her. The lady keeps apologizing and reasoned out that her friends have been advising her that mature men usually play with girls. Hearing that, he asked what shall he do to make her feel that he was serious about their relationship. The man promised that he would do anything to win back her trust. The next day, Alex wore a suit and stood at Nikki's home. The lady wants him to introduce himself to her parents. He saw Nikki's family and her dad heading to work. Instead of approaching them, Alex hid out of nervousness. He doubts that they will not like him, considering his age gap with their daughter. Soon after the car left, he rang the doorbell. He introduced himself to Nikki's mom. He was surprised because her mom did not go mad. She even told him that they were expecting him. The two went inside to talk. Nikki's mom was intimidating. She thought that he was the bank representative she was hoping to come. Alex felt embarrassed. He just acted like he was one and told the woman that the agency would call her soon. Nikki's dad was on the line and told his wife that the bank representative could not come. The lady replied that he just did. Alex escaped hearing that the man wanted to talk to him. At the office, Leonardo informed Alex and Marcelo that the Japanese company rejected their proposals. They thought that their advertisement ideas belonged to the world of fantasy. With that, he requested them to think of a realistic approach to market the perfume. On his desk, Alex contemplates how he will make realistic campaign material. Suddenly, a familiar face went into his office. It was Alina. She approached him as if she had never left months ago. Alex, on the other hand, tried to be civil to her. She was at the company to meet Leonardo. She was delighted to share with him that she was promoted as the one assigned for advertising contracts. The lady also bought a new apartment and lived life to the fullest. Before she left, she invited him out some time with their circle of friends, and he agreed. Later that night, Alex and Nikki went to the club. The lady danced while Alex left her to get them some drinks. Shortly after, Satter, Nikki's drunk ex-boyfriend, called her out for dancing like an idiot. She felt humiliated hearing that. The man keeps getting near. He forced the lady to admit that she once called him because she could not move on. Alex listened to that and tried to calm down the guy. The drunk man was pissed off and punched him in the face. It was too strong that he fell to the floor. Alex walked out, and Nikki followed him. He drove her home and remained silent during the drive. At Nikki's home, he told her he wanted to break up. After being punched by a teenager, he realizes that the people around them were right, that their love was an illusion. Nikki agreed. She walked out and banged the door. Shortly after, Nikki heard that her friend, Diana, was hit by a car. She hurriedly went to the hospital. She was in grief, knowing that her friend was in critical condition. While she was looking out the window, she saw Alex standing right beside her. The lady hugged him tight. She was grateful that he was there to comfort her. On Nikki's 18th birthday, Diana already had her senses back. Apart from that, Nikki also received gifts from her friends that she did not expect. Alex picked her up at the hospital. He did not bring something. He forgot her birthday. The lady was pissed off. She can't believe that a boyfriend can forget her girl's special day. Alex, on the other hand, promised to buy her a gift the next day. He also told her he would treat her to lunch. He requested the lady to look at the address of the restaurant in the glove box of the car. Nikki opened the paper and screamed with joy. She saw a ticket for a trip to Paris, and Alex brought it for her birthday. The two had a great time in the City of Love. They stayed in a room with a majestic view of the city and the Eiffel Tower. The next day, Nikki woke up late. While she was sleeping without clothes under a blanket, Alex took some photos of her. The next day, Alex presented Nikki's photos as campaign material for the perfume. Leonardo loved it, and Le Luna bought the design. He relayed the good news to his girlfriend, who was so happy with his success. Alex went home to his apartment. There, he was surprised to see Alina. She still had the keys, so she came in. The lady also confessed that she misses him so much. And this time, she wore the engagement ring to tell him she was finally ready for marriage. Alex removed her hands from him. He was so mad that she reappeared instantly but only left a letter months ago before leaving him. Alex went to the shore in the late afternoon to unwind. He stayed there until night. Rain poured down, and he decided to go to Nikki. The lady received a text message. She was delighted to see him outside. They hugged under the rain. There, Alex told her that he wanted to break up with her. 
that their relationship is a complete mistake. The lady cried and asked what was wrong. He confessed that he was confused. All along, he changed himself just to fit into her world. This time, he's accepting that the two of them can't work out. With everything he reasoned out, the truth is that he's still in love with Alina and wants to resume their relationship. Nikki was dismayed and called him a coward for not fighting their passion. Days pass by, and Nikki is still hurting after the breakup. Meanwhile, Alex was adjusting to starting a new life with Alina. She was always mad at small things, very different from what she was before. One time when she was cooking, Alex blew flour into her hair to tease her. However, she misunderstood it and thought he was too childish to do that. The next day, Alex picked her up from work to invite her for dinner. While waiting, he noticed the heart that Nikki drew on the car's window. He misses her so much. Shortly after, Alina happily enters the door to greet him. He told her he wanted to end their relationship because he loved another girl. The lady cried and walked out. Nikki was having a great time with her friends. All of a sudden, Alex calls. She tried to hide her phone from them, but her friend grabbed it. They were upset that it was Alex. They answered his call and cursed him for hurting their friend. Alex had no choice on how to win back Nikki. The next day, he decided to meet her parents. He introduced himself and left a letter. They told him that she had left for vacation. He felt hopeless hearing that and left. The next day, Alex submitted a resignation letter. While he was packing his things, Leonardo was so mad at him for quickly leaving the company. He asked him if he would be transferring to their competitor. Alex laughed and told him that he planned to take a long vacation. He bid goodbye to his subordinates, who were also behind his success. Nikki finally arrived home, and her parents were glad she looked great. She was delighted to tell them about her wonderful experience with her friends. Her parents just stared at her. They seemed to have something to say. At that moment, they gave her Alex's letter. She opened it and found dried flowers and a lighthouse photo. He also told the lady that he will finally visit there. Alex enjoyed his vacation. On his final itinerary, he went to the lighthouse. He misses her, but he was slowly accepting that she won't ever forgive him for being a coward. He tied his boat and walked upstairs to the lighthouse. Alex froze as he saw Nikki there. She was smiling at him. He went near and tried to explain. Nikki stopped him. She accepts his apologies and is ready to continue their love story. Alex smiled and promised the lady that he would never leave her again. The two kissed, sealing a promise they made on their dream destination.